South Beach back in the day was just a place where the hub of the action was, where everybody was out here trying to make a name for themselves. Surfers, shark fishermen. It was a lifestyle. Everyone wanted the biggest shark. Everyone wanted to outlast the next guy. The guys that were at the top, they weren't going to give up that spot. And the one guy that stuck out was Renee. He was the master. He became the guy that outfished the teacher. Renee is an icon in the history of South Beach. As a kid, we're going, man, this guy's a god. He was aggressive, very competitive. He would risk life and limb to catch a shark. Renee would like to cut the bait in half. You'd have to hold it down with your chest, with the hooks and everything. And you're paddling it, or you're just like bathing in the blood. Renee was like, I'm going to grab all the locals, all the rats flock to me. We're going to have a club. Everybody wanted to outfish each other and try to equal what Renee was doing. We wanted to be part of that. But you understood who was at the top. Kahuna, man, the guy who catches all the big fish, man, the hot shot. Jaws put sharks and shark fishing on the map. All of a sudden, you had tournaments all over the place. Renee started winning a lot of these and show off his trophies. He had to be number one every day. He proved it every day, but he died proving it. So I can tell you a great story about the South Beach Shark Club.